लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट वॉज विथ ग्रेट प्राइड एंड इमेंस प्लेजर दैट आई प्रेसाइडेड टू ईयर्स एगो एट द फर्स्ट मीटिंग ऑफ द सेनेट ऑफ द मैसूर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट गिवस मी वेरी ग्रेट प्लेजर टू अटेंड दिस कॉन्वोकेशन टूडे on the last occasion i referred to the many circumstances which led to the starting of this university and to the hopes which i entertained for its future it is highly satisfactory to find from the annual report of the university that the ideals referred to in my address on the previous occasion have been kept in view during the last 2 years the university has enlarged its activities and good proposals are under consideration for further expansion i am particularly interested in the housing of the university students it has given me pleasure to find that building and conveniences in the government hostels has been extended to the students who come from various distant towns and cities in the state and outside and the university realizes its responsibility it has also been proposed to provide further accommodation and cover a considerable number of students it is my earnest desire that the higher education of women should also be developed and i wish that i should have been not one but 10 lady graduates before me here today i look forward with hope to the time when every district in the mysore state will be supplied with lady graduate teachers i attach great importance and significance to the study of the mother tongue which has been made compulsory throughout the course you will agree that a study of mother tongue should command the sympathy and interest of educated people in our enthusiasm to improve our university we must not forget that its efficiency largely depends on the schools which serve as its feeders our university is trying to improve these institutions by setting up high standards for the entrance examination in this connection i am glad to say that my government have only recently sanctioned generous grants for the better equipment of their important classes further there is unfortunately a limit to the resources which my government can afford to place at the disposal of university the cost of higher education in india is steadily increasing and if educational opportunities are to be open to all the sections and not confined to the richer classes only public support must be forthcoming in an ever increasing degree in all such schemes on this occasion i am very glad to learn 
that during the short period of its existence the university of mysore received liberal financial support from the public i feel that i should acknowledge on this occasion a debt of gratitude from myself and people to sri m vishweshwaraya the popular diwan of my state it was chiefly his patriotism enthusiasm and untiring zeal that are responsible for the successful working of the university before i conclude i should like to give you some practical advice 